everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. This week I'm heading off for a recovery run. It is Wednesday at the time of filming and recovery runs are one of my favorite runs of the week because they are slow, because they are chilled. The sun today is shining and I'm heading off to somewhere different around Bristol in an effort to explore some new routes. I just wanted to talk a little bit about why recovery runs are important because I have had a lot of messages on Instagram on this exact topic and I know that it's something that I'm only really just getting to grips with as a runner myself and so I kind of wanted to discuss like the benefits of recovery runs, what the difference between a recovery run day and a total rest day should be and why having kind of both of those is really important. And I think it's important to bear in mind that obviously everyone is different. So a lot of people might feel absolutely fine running seven days a week. And some people might double up days. Other people will be running two times a week or three times a week and that's enough for them as well. Maybe they're doing other different types of exercise. All of those are good. All of those are absolutely fine and everyone is different. When I was training for Tokyo Marathon, I was just running three times a week, but then I was also doing other cross training on top of that. So, you know, I was doing strength training at the gym. I was going and doing my boxing training. So I had lots of different workouts and actually running more than three times a week would have started to put too much load on my body too soon and increase injury risk. Now, as part of my 5K training program, I've been running four times a week and my mileage has increased to around 40 kilometers per week, which for me has been a steady increase of around 10% per week, which is the 10% rule and that means that I'm not increasing my injury risk too much or my load too much but still getting the benefits of increased distance week on week and increased intensity. I just to give you a bit of insight into how I plan my weeks I do one long interval session so that is intervals that are slightly longer in duration so that might be five minutes it might be seven minutes it might be one kilometer it kind of it varies quite a lot and I do that on a Tuesday and then I do a recovery run on a Wednesday and then I do a short interval interval session on a Friday and those are intervals that are kind of 30 seconds in length, one minute in length, two minutes maybe, much faster, much shorter and then I do a long run on a Sunday so as you can tell my training sessions alternate from being a high intensity interval sort of very strenuous session to a much more chilled slower paced recovery run or long run on the Sunday and that means that I don't do two really intense sessions back to back and that's really important for me because not only am I really injury prone but also if you're doing an interval session you want to be well recovered for it maybe not entirely recovered but you want to be at least quite well recovered for it so that you can put in as much effort as you can into that session and if you can't put in all the effort that you should be able to then you're not going to get the maximum benefits from the session so if you still feel really tired at the point that you're starting an interval session then there's a good chance that you won't get all the benefits that you would like to get from it so you could move it to a day later or something like that and I've been doing this kind of training I think for 10 weeks now and it's worked out really well for me there's you know I've been really tired don't get me wrong like the the sessions are really intense but there's not been any point where I haven't felt physically able to do any of my sessions each week sometimes I have moved them or switched them around move on to a day later but there's been no point where I've had to miss a session entirely during a week and I think that's because of um, having them quite well structured the benefits of recovery runs versus total rest days are kind of multifold so a lot of people do rest days and you might do active recovery during that rest day and that might include a long walk or a bit of yoga, stretching, Pilates, that kind of stuff. And that's really great. Rest days are so important. They're the time that our body assimilates all the training that we've been doing and allows the uh, micro tears in your muscles to kind of recover during that rest period. And for many people, they might need total recovery rest days. I know that I definitely need some of those per week. For other people, a recovery run can be kind of enough recovery for them because they have a really good aerobic base and have been doing running for a long time so a, a slow recovery run is really all that they need and the benefits of recovery runs is that they increase blood flow to the muscles so when you are kind of sitting at home the blood isn't flowing around your body loads and so you're not necessarily going to be repairing the micro tears in your muscles as quickly as if you were doing a little bit of low intensity active recovery like a walk or a run and when you do that it boosts circulation around your body and that helps eliminate waste products and then also repair uh, micro tears in your muscles as well and another thing that it does is it helps to boost your aer aerobic capacity or vo2 max and that's even if you're running at a really slow pace and and that's something that you have to really 
take care of is your recovery run should be very slow. It should feel almost kind of uncomfortably slow and that's to allow your body to recover whilst on the run rather than actually getting in another really intense workout. And if your interval sessions are intense enough, then your recovery runs will really feel needed. And actually from personal experience, I know that after a really intense interval session, like my interval session yesterday, I know that I want to be going very slowly on my recovery runs and they actually end up feeling really good because of that slow pace. You know, you get used to running really fast in your interval sessions and then you can take it right back and just sort of plod along on road, off road, whatever you prefer uh, during your recovery run. So there's a sort of saying of the 80-20 rule that 80% of your running should be at a low intensity and 20% should be at a high higher intensity. I think this is for people who kind of just do running. From my own experience, I couldn't possibly do 80% of my running at a low intensity because I don't run enough. As I'm only running four times a week, that would basically mean that I wasn't doing any high intensity training at all. But because I do lots of other exercise and activities as well, I say that 80% of my exercise overall is low intensity and only 20% is high intensity. So those are my two interval sessions per week. Those are pretty high intensity, but every other day I'm doing quite low intensity exercise or recovery or just gardening, like that kind of stuff. You're being active, but it's really low intensity. And and that is really good for improving your overall fitness and allowing your body time to recover in between your higher intensity sessions. Another benefit of recovery runs is that they add total mileage to your weeks. As I mentioned, I'm doing about 40 kilometers a week. For lots of people, that might be a lot. For lots of people, that might not seem like very much. For me, it's a bit of an increase on what I was doing before. And the reason I can do that is because that mileage has been quite low intensity. So I'm not doing, you know, another 10 kilometers of really high intensity training. Training. I don't think that would benefit very much me very much. It would actually just make me exhausted and I wouldn't be able to push myself on those high intensity sessions. So by doing recovery runs, and I think I might start including a second recovery run to my weeks soon, I'm increasing my total mileage and getting kind of more miles under the belt than I would usually be getting if I was just sticking to high intensity training week in, week out. What I do during my recovery runs and another benefit of them is that I'm really able to focus on my form and my technique. And again, as someone who's quite injury prone, I do have to spend quite a lot of time making sure that I'm not getting lazy with my running form. And for me, that means keeping my cadence high, keeping my body upright, not hunching over, not plodding along, you know, quite heavy footed, because those are all the sorts of things that mean that my IT band syndrome flares up. And that's a real nightmare when that happens because it kind of affects me for a few days and then it tends to go away, but it really affects my training. And most of all, it kind of, it affects my confidence because I've had IT band syndrome for a really long time and I worry that it's going to come back and by keeping really good form on my slower runs it means that I can keep that sort of injury at bay while simultaneously strengthening the muscles that are going to help reduce injury risk down the line and that's super handy for me because actually I haven't suffered from my T-band syndrome apart from a small tiny flare-up last week for mm, nearly a year now I think about a year and that's the longest time in the last six years that I've not had it and I think that's due to having more slow recovery runs and increasing my mileage really slowly. And that's been super beneficial for me. And the last reason that I think recovery runs are so great is that they provide a bit of time for you to just kind of have a bit of fun. Most of us are not running just to run fast or just to win races. And maybe you disagree with me, but I love running for just being outside and for kind of getting out onto the trails, especially, and just enjoying myself. And when I'm just doing interval sessions, I don't get that sort of enjoyment out of it. I get a different sort of enjoyment. I really enjoy pushing myself and I really enjoy going to the track and I really enjoy going fast. But for me, the reason that I love running is because I love getting out into nature, listening to the bird song, being out with the trees. <laughs> I sound like a total tree hugger, but, but just being in nature and, and really enjoying it at a kind of slow, leisurely pace. And you can't do that when you're doing your interval sessions per se. So by having my long runs and my recovery runs, I can bring the enjoyment back into running a, a, a little bit more. And for me, that's sort of 50% of my week. 50% is hard work and 50% is really fun. I mean, 100% of it's obviously really fun, but 
50% of it's a little bit less fun and the other 50% is really fun and kind of reminds me of why I love training and why I love running. And I think that's really important. There's no point having a training session that you absolutely hate and that kind of totally destroys the enjoyment of running for you, in my opinion. So that's definitely one of the other benefits of recovery runs. So with all of that in mind, I'm about to head out now to go to a place called Cruise Hole. There's a cemetery and there's a little nature reserve, I think, next to it as well. It's not huge, but it's perfect distance for my recovery runs. I tend to only do somewhere between five and seven kilometers at a really steady pace. And the great thing about going on the trails as well is that it just reduces impact on my knees and my joints in general, and also improves strength in other ways. I'm doing all my interval sessions on road or track. So by getting onto the trails, you get a bit more strength work out of it as well, because you're going uphill, you're going downhill, you're, you've got uneven ground under your feet, and it kind of provides a sort of version of cross training that you don't get from just road running. So I'm really looking forward to getting out there and the sun is shining. So I'm going to take you along with me now. So we just went to go pick up some stuff from Gumtree for the house and we parked up somewhere nearby a kind of nature reserve that we've been to once or twice before. And we're having a bit of an explore. Should be nice, a little bit hilly, but it's a beautiful sunny day. So heading into the green bit now. and not very many people. Win-win. Some allotments on our right, and we're heading into Cruise Hole Woodland. Uh, really, we have no idea where we're heading, but uh, just exploring. You think that way? Cool, let's go. It's crazy. 
crazy that this is, um, you know, only a kilometre really, a kilometre and a bit outside of, no, a kilometre outside of Bristol city centre. It's mad. That's why, it's one of the reasons that we moved to Bristol, is the abundance of green spaces. And while I wish they were all quite a lot bigger, it's uh, better than nothing for sure. So that is, what's it called? Is that a name? <clears throat> anyway, Troopers Hill. And we've run to this before once. And it's very hilly but very lovely. like rocks. lovely it's very nice <laughs> um only just over 4k but can't really do another lap of the place so gonna head back now and we're back four and a half very hilly very lovely kilometers i think that's enough for the legs today to be honest after yesterday's session and it was great fun so i think fun was had by all would you agree fee <laughs> just about that's high praise from Fian so I'll take it okay that is it for this week's vlog I hope you enjoyed it I think Cruise Hall is it's just such a beautiful little area and I'm so happy that I discovered it well actually some people recommend it on Instagram and I'm really happy we went to go and visit and I got a nice little mirror while we were out there as well so win-win situation <laughs> I think it's really important to do recovery runs runs just for fun every now and again even if you're training for something in particular I really I really think it's important not to lose the enjoyment in running because we all do it for fun for the most part at least even if you are training really intensely for something just make sure that you get out there and kind of forget the watch forget how far you're going forget how fast you're going and just enjoy it because I mean today I was smiling the whole way around as you can probably tell and it was just really nice to get out so here's your reminder if you don't already maybe do introduce a little recovery run into your week even if it's only a few kilometers even if it's you know three kilometers or something really ploddy pace just get out there and uh, get some fresh air and uh, get your legs turning over and it will help your recovery but also just get out for a little bit of fun whether that is in your local nature reserve or just down your street or with a friend because we can do that now just get out and enjoy yourself that is it i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did enjoy it please do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button i'll be back next week i am going on a nice long run this weekend with a friend who i i say friend i've actually never met him but we know each other through instagram and i will be telling you all about that in the vlog watch this space bye